We have the Washington Commanders taking on the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. This is your week three, 2023 prediction and preview video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Also hit the like button. Let's start off with the Atlanta Falcons. Desmond Ritter has been up and down this season. Just a couple weeks ago, they suffered a brutal loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars in London. And he threw a pick six in that game and another terrible interception. But in the second half, he looked better. And against the Houston Texans, he looked really good. He was 28-37, 329 passing yards, one touchdown passing, and one rushing touchdown. The one passing touchdown did go to B. John Robinson, but the run game was not there to help him out. So it was a very impressive day and a very impressive win for Desmond Ritter. B. John Robinson had 14 carries on the day for 46 yards, just 3.3 yards a carry, and he fumbled in this game. And Ty Lauzier had 17 carries for 40 yards, that's 2.4 yards a carry. So they were not able to get things going in the run department. But he went out, made a lot of smart throws, a lot of good throws. He needs to do that in this game as well. Get Kyle Pitts involved and Drake London. It's funny how things work out when you get your first round pick tight end involved. Had seven catches for 87 yards last week, and Drake London had six catches for 78 yards. You're going against a defense that's very suspect of the Washington Commanders. They're having a tough time covering guys in space. Just last week, they let DJ Moore have three touchdowns. And the week before that, they let A.J. Brown single-handedly take over that game. So you have to get the ball out to guys like Kyle Pitts and Drake London because the Washington Commanders are going to try to take that run game away. Get B. John Robinson going in the receiving game as well, and you will be fine. But the offensive line is key in this game, behind Desmond Ritter showing up. This offensive line has been bad this season, but they've stepped up the last couple of games. You're going against a tough defensive front in the Washington Commanders. Even though they're having a tough time covering guys in secondary, you have Chase Young, Monte Sweat, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen. All those guys can ball and put a lot of pressure on you up front. So go up there and protect Desmond Ritter as much as possible and get the ball out quick against this defense. Now, speaking of defense, I want to talk about the Atlanta Falcons defense. Very good last week. They held the Houston Texans 19 points. They made C.J. Stroud uncomfortable. They didn't walk away with an interception, but Jeff Okuda and A.J. Terrell had a very good game last week with Jesse Bates over top. Jesse Bates has been a phenomenal free agent signing with this team, so continue to use some of that versatile safety role and get those cornerbacks going early in this game. They better come in with their work boots because because they're going to be guarding guys like Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, and Jahan Dotson. Jahan Dotson may not have that rapport with Sam Howell, but he can get some things going in the red zone situation just because the offensive line for the Washington Commanders is terrible and they've allowed Sam Howell to be sacked 29 times he is still a very good quarterback so this front has to go out there put a lot of pressure on him get him down and take that run game away and do whatever you can to slow down this offense and just keep everything in front of you I like this Falcons defense in this matchup and they can very well win this game in Atlanta now let's talk about the Washington Commanders been a bad couple weeks, man. Last week, you allowed 40 points to the Chicago Bears who did not win a game on a short week because it was Thursday night football. So you have had some time off. And the week before that, you were in a close game against the Philadelphia Eagles. This is a solid Washington Commanders team. But like I said a couple seconds ago, Sam Howe has been sacked 29 times, the most in the NFL. This offensive line has to protect him. And even with the offensive line being bad, he has still been a very good quarterback. He got sacked five times last week against the Chicago Bears, a defensive front that is not known for getting sacks in the NFL. And you're going against the Atlanta Falcons team. They might not get sacks, but they can put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So from tackle to tackle, these guys have to be better. But last week, Sam Howell was 37 of 51, 388 passing yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Why is Sam Howell throwing the ball 51 times? I understand he was down in this game. Brian Robinson Jr. only had six carries on the day. The run game has virtually disappeared from this team. Go out there, run the football if you can. I understand the Atlanta Falcons held Damian Pierce to 66 yards on 20 carries, just 3.3 yards a carry, but go out there, run the football, and slow down that pass rush of the Atlanta Falcons. Do some tunnel screens to guys like Curtis Samuel and Terry McLaurin and get some things going. When Sam Howell has enough time to pocket, he can deliver some big things time throws. So his office line has to do a better job up front and Airbnb has to do a better job as well with being patient with this system and not giving up on the run game. Their offense can score points. They give Sam Howell enough time in the pocket. And even when they don't give him time in the pocket, he still makes some big time throws. Now defensively, their front seven or their front four is very good. Chase Young, Deron Payne, Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen. I am very concerned about their secondary in this game, and it's not because the players are bad. Kendall Fuller led up three touchdowns last week, but it's the adjustments that Jack Del Rio is not making. 
He has to come out and be very careful against this Falcons team. Arthur Smith will make some adjustments at halftime to get B. John Robinson on the roll. They haven't even gotten Cordell Patterson integrated into this offense just yet, so they have weapons, and they also have John Smith as well. Take that run game away from Desmond Ritter and make him beat you again. Make him make tough decisions and get a lot of pressure around him. That's what they're going to have to do, and it's going to come down to the coaching of Jack Del Rio and Ron Rivera. With that being said, Desmond Ritter is very good at home in Atlanta. He was very good last week, and he's been good in every single game that he's played at home. I am taking the Atlanta Falcons to win this game 24-20, to but let me know in the comment section below, who do you have winning this game, the Washington Commanders or the Atlanta Falcons? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, want each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.